I made a video a couple of weeks ago uh, using the inverter for my Chevy Volt and it was noted that the, the battery sure drained very fast. It's not surprising. This is a 2012 and it's 2020. So it may have been manufactured even as early as 2011. So the battery in there would be nine years old. So you can find the manufacture date on the door sticker. So uh, it was made in August 2011 and it's the uh, February 2020. So this battery is now about eight years and eight months old. The battery of course lives here in the trunk. You have to uh, open up this here to get to the battery. <clears throat> so there are just four of these 10 millimeter uh, nuts that you take off to remove the plastic cover back here. Okay, I'll get this tray out of here. Wow. Okay, so this is a little bit bigger deal than just your typical battery. This is a, it's a rather small battery, but it's a, um, a AGM absorbed glass mat, sort of solid, um, juice free, if you will, battery. It looks like we've got a whole bus bar with a bunch of things coming off of it. And there's a 13 millimeter. Uh, bolt down there. Stick a longer extension in there. Let me pull that off first. Okay. Get that out of there. Then this strap. Come off. That. All right. I'm going to take the battery cables off. This is the negative side and this is the positive side. You always, always, always want to take the negative side off first. The reason for doing that is if you're using your wrench on the positive side and the negative is still hooked up and you hit something metal with your wrench, you're going to cause big problems. So I'm going to take this off first, but the thing that I'm going to do that I'm not sure is totally necessary is I'm going to hook up, I've got just a 12 volt jump pack here. I'm going to hook that up to these um, these metal terminals here before I disconnect the battery so that the car doesn't ever lose power. I don't think it's a huge deal, but I think that when it loses power it has to reset and it's just one more area that I could end up with a fault. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Um, let me just get, the, I'm going to get these loosened first. Right, this is just a, this is an interesting battery terminal here. I think you just need to loosen this a little bit and that will allow this to spread apart enough to get this off. Um, so I'm going to do that. Let's see. Yeah, it's loose enough now. I'm going to hook up my jump pack to this here. I haven't hooked up the battery yet to the end. They just got the clamps hooked up. I'm going to go with, this is a ground over here, so I'm going to hook the uh, ground up there so that I don't have to ha try to clamp this on to this while trying to take it off at the same time. I have the positive just cl clipped into this bus bar. Since all those are connected, we should be good. So let me plug my battery into the end here, and then I'll take my terminals off the battery. Okay, I got my negative one off. It doesn't matter that, if that touches anything. I've got this one loosened. That'll just slide off there. Now I gotta take this block off here and there's just some tabs down here that I gotta get at with both hands. But if I slide a screwdriver down here, that'll unhook this side. And the same with this. This'll allow me to take this kind of unit off. Put the screwdriver down here, push this tab away. And that will release this here. I'll try to do this without knocking that plug off. And I also don't want anything here to touch bare metal. So I got to do this. I'm going to set the camera down so I can do this carefully without shorting anything out. Okay, I've got the battery out. You can see the light is on up there, which means that I haven't lost power to the unit. So I'm going to run to the 
auto store, auto parts store and get myself a new battery and come back and put it in before this battery drains. Now, what you don't want to do at this point probably is to close this tailgate because if you close it and the power goes out, because it's all electric, you won't be able to get it open again. And if you lock your doors and this dies, you're not going to be able to get into your car. So just leave it open for right now. Well, shoo, I have to say I was pretty lucky that I did hook up that thing because while I was at the battery store, my wife came home and she so helpfully closed this tailgate. If I hadn't have had this hooked up, I wouldn't have been able to ever get this open. Uh, and I would have been trying to figure out how to work on it from underneath the closed tailgate. Anyways, I went to Napa and I got this battery which is absolutely identical. You can tell they were made in the same factory. Um, there is the part number there. And this was the price they all are about, or as cheap as they come, it was $184, $185. Um, they came with a $20 coupon, so that's good, but they aren't cheap batteries. Peel off my sticker so I know what year. And then I always keep the receipt and tape it right on the top of this battery. There's a little hole on the side of the battery, and there's another one over here. And there is, that's where you plug this little vent tube in. And there's supposed to be a little, little plugs that you could put into this side, because they're not going to need one on this side. I don't see that I got a plug with it, so I'm just going to put some black electrical tape over this side just to keep it from gassing into the car. Make sure that there's a lip on the back of this battery goes under, and there's some metal down there that it fits under. This black plastic um, piece has to go back over that edge, and we're going to replace this carefully. Yeah. Put that on there. Take this one off here. Get our negative hook back up. Let's get this back on here. Better. There. All right. And get that tightened up. Okay, we're going to tighten up. Well. I've already got this negative, which means that if I touch anything with this wrench, I'm in trouble. So I should have left that negative one off, but I think I can put this on very carefully. Okay, now the negative. side there take our auxiliary battery clips off now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this strap back on it oh, came off so there's a there's a hole right here that's gonna go in and, and then it's just gonna go down there. that will line up. Alright, so I guess that's about it. Got our vent plugged in here, got a vent taped over here, got our strap back in place. Hardest part maybe was getting this bolt back into the hole, you know, through this plastic block and then into the hole, but you know, as far as difficulty goes, uh, on a scale of one to five, this is about a one. There's no reason you should ever pay somebody to do this again you know I did that thing where I hooked up my other battery just to make sure it didn't turn off again not necessary but I think maybe helpful but you don't have to do that you can replace this yourself it's not a big deal good luck all right getting in the car uh, I've got my great battery range of 20 miles now start it up hello
All right, no problems. I mean, sort of charge cord connected. Also got my check engine light on. I'm, the, the, the dealer can't really figure out what that is. It's part of the reason why I wanted to replace the battery and see if uh, it has anything to do with that. So I'm gonna um, turn that off and we'll see if it comes back now that I have a new battery. So anyways, I, I think that's about it.